Okay, we're back after much technical difficulties. Back with Hanu. How you, buddy? I'm doing fine. Looking yeah. forward to this, the final chapter of the Wallace and Gromit saga. Or at least this game series, at least. Yeah, last time I accidentally proposed to Miss Flit. And now golf is the name of the game. Yeah. I'm actually curious how this is going to turn out. Yeah. I, I, actually, and I like look golf. At that. Yeah, front page news. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, lots happened since the last time we were together recording. Probably the biggest thing is Telltale's going under. That's really. Oh, the... yeah, yeah, but that, that happens to companies with scummy business practices, so. Yeah, but that's really Whatever. depressing. Hey, yeah, look at that. It's Gromit. That's a really big golf club, or a really, I mean, a ball, or a really tiny club. <laughs> More porridge. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Rude Goldberg would be damned. proud. Rude Goldberg would be proud. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Scissors. That seems too simple for a Rune Goldberg device. There's at least three more steps that that porridge should have taken. There you go. Hey, they put the bread in the dining room. Oh dear, Gromit. I must stop eating cheese last thing. It's given me terrible dreams. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, last night, I dreamt I'd accidentally become engaged to our neighbor, Miss Flit. Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine? I love the noise that that light board makes when he, like, presses it. But... What's this? Oh, no, lad. So it wasn't a bad dream after all. It's a real life flipping nightmare. It's all coming back to me at the fair. I found that lug nut and she thought it was a... Oh, my giddy aunt. Talk about... Ah, oh, there we got the giddy aunt. Misunderstandings. There should be a, like a Wallace and Gromit. Gromit bingo for this game. No. I've got to do something. I don't know. I must go and speak to Miss Flit at once. I apologize and explain it was all a terrible oh, shoot, shoot, mistake. Shoot. I'm sure Miss Flit will understand. She'll probably be relieved when she learns I wasn't proposing marriage after all. It's not as if we've much in common. I mean... Well, I suppose there's nothing for it but to, uh... Ooh. First, I'm quite get that. How, why is that terrified of her? <laughs> morning, Wallace. I've come about a professional matter of the utmost delicacy and secrecy. You have? Oh, wonderful. Uh, step into my consulting room and tell me all about it. Oh, by the way. It seems I'm going to be tied up for a while. Yeah, read the door. Some business. Uh, why don't you go and put your ear to the ground and find out how the land lies next door? Yeah, their new career. They're detectives now. Detectives. Okay. Hang on. That's it. I really hope that there's some kind of a detecting tool that they'll be using. Otherwise, it's going to be like... Well, they've, they've done a, quite a lot. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Uh, resume game. Let's go, let's go eavesdrop on them. Golden Retrieval. Retrieval. Get it? Yeah. Is that Home Sweet Home sign written in fixes? Well. Oh, I have no idea. Excellent. And I well, it kind of looks like from where I'm standing as or sitting as, as it happens. It bring it to me. It's not going to be an easy job. He wants us to find oh, something, but he doesn't know what it is. Difficult. That's why my colleagues and I are turning to you. We only work with the best. Oh, colleagues? Uh, well, very I haven't seen any other military so. men here. But I won't stand for any. If there's any information gathering to be done, my eavesdropper is just the tool for it. Eavesdropper? I like the sound of it. You're okay, good. Aren't you? So we are getting to use some crazy gadgets. Then you're... I suppose we can start hunting for clues with my super clue snooper. 
capital idea. Still, okay. But you need to be discreet. Tre Sniper fire! Merely porridge, Major Crumb. Carry on. <laughs> Rub it, please. <laughs> Yeah, couldn't resist. Put the thumbscrews on you, Wallace. Oh, Gromit and I would never divulge your professional secret. Good man. Now, have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what? Well, that was quite the sight. Bread this in a bread box. you've lost. Lost something? Who has? Oh, yes. I, I don't I understand. I, I didn't understand what was the relevance of that. Well, he was did, out of bread. Did you last take episode. some bread? Uh, did you take some bread? No. Oh, okay. Just me, but to all of us, it's terribly important. It is. This is a matter of the utmost. He's gonna talk in circle for a while. Basically, they're missing something and they have no idea what it looks like. Yeah, I was wondering, like, was there, was there a point where you're not doing anything right now? I, I thought you were enjoying their conversation. Well, no, actually, I guess it's uh, hard for me to concentrate on what we're doing. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was kind of hoping that you would have taken a look at that "Home Sweet Home" sign, but okay. All oh, right. And prudence. Of course, Felicity. An urgent summons from one's only living relative and heir to one's fortune can mean only. Ah, she wears one of those, those glasses that don't have uh and just going to the ears i mean what, what do you call those i don't know no no trouble as such aunt prudence but well there has been an important development on the matrimonial front which pardon me aunt prudence i think i spy an ugly little intruder ugly Oh! Love, fungi. Come, let's go inside for a cup of tea. Have you come, my old child? Man trouble always makes me hackles rise and my petticoats fluster. Doesn't it always? Yep, hates mushrooms. That'll come in handy later. Now we get to use right. not the wrench, this. <laughs> in his spare time, he likes to. That doesn't look suspicious. Yes, um, inventions and such like. A handyman? Well, you'll obviously have to put a stop to the inventing. Certainly not in the house. Can't be tolerated. Oh, oh no. Far too messy and intrusive. Hmm. Well, I think you've told me all I need to hear. And so? So long as he doesn't leave his contraptions lying around all over the house, he sounds very suitable, Suitor. So our engagement has your blessing? I don't see why not. Unless... Yes? Unless... A okay, that seems important. Well, he's not... He's not a member of that... Place, is he? That appalling country club whose name alone makes me shudder. You mean prickly thicket? Oh, yes. Oh, heavens, child, you know our family history. We flits have never associated with those dreadful prickly thicketers. Oh, you need prickly thicketers. Well, Did the her glasses disappear or something? Nah, I just can't see them through the window, silly. Well, there's your hint, but let's see what else they're saying. Okay, so that's why the gulf is important. Yeah. Oh, God, is that plant flat? Yes. And I'll be able to do all my repotting Ah, I guess they're all flat. I thought you said he did his inventing in the cellar. Not for much longer. I'll soon get him started on another hobby. I was thinking geraniums. What? it's not golf, you'll have my blessing. What the heck is geraniums? With gera geraniums. <laughs> or probably has something to do with plants. A Just a wild stab in the dark. Not. No relative of mine will ever marry a prickly thicket man. Not while I have breath in my body. More chamomile. So, our options are either kill her or join a country club. I must say, Aunt Prudence, I still don't understand your antipathy towards prickly thicket. You don't need to understand it, my girl. Just accept it. 
We flits have felt antipathy towards prickly thicketers for generations. Far be it from me to break a family tradition. Don't be flippant for a little If I discover your intended is a... Oh, you needn't worry on that score. There's no possibility that Wallace is a member of Prickly Thicket. Believe me. Yeah, they're just getting more blunt with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Her plans, they'll tear down this wall inside, she'll get rid of all his inventing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. No. I guess we now gotta get to the country club. Club. No, now we gotta get Wallace as a Morning, member. Constable Dibbins, delivering the mail as well this morning? Aye, post is off sick. He's got the mumps and I've got the um. Sorry to hear that. Her Majesty's mail must be delivered, and PC Ernest Dibbins has never shrunk from duty, even when such duties aren't even part of his blinking job description. Here's your post. Ah, no bitterness help there. But notice the coat of arms, Mr. Paneer. A prickly thicket, isn't it? Happen. So. Wow, that that's a them. terrible typo. Oh, they forgot the I, I. S in Back isn't it? Is it now? And I think That's they put the hyphen. Uh, no, sorry, what, what's it called? I was just saying to myself the other day, Ernest Dibbins, it's time Well, they completely misspelled it. That's what I'm getting at. Excuse me, Constable. What are you staring at? Get along now. So we have to steal his invite, and he's going to be bitter towards us for the rest of the episode for it. Why, why did he just leave it outside? Back off. Caught him trying to nick your letter. The important one from ahem, Prickly Thicket. Oh, that's only the envelope. I've got the letter here. No. Yeah. Bad news. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Quite the reverse. It's my turn to propose a new member. Is it really? Well, I never. It's a heavy responsibility. Not everyone's cut out to be a Prickly Thicketer. The candidate must be a gentleman of impeccable character. Someone who's always there for a friend in need. A pillar of the community. And, of course, a sportsman. Going to be a long search? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, the ideal candidate might be, uh, somebody who's very close to you. Oh, wow, does he really I, like golf that much? Somebody who's right <laughs> yeah. I can't be, help but to feel there's an ulterior motive to this. Yes, of course. You mean Mr. Wallace, my near neighbor and one of my best customers. Wallace? He's no blinking sportsman. He don't know one end of a golf club from other. Oh no, his face well, is breaking. That's true. And he's out there to play the community like... Like who? Mr. Paneer. My dear Mr. Paneer. His first name we don't know. She's over this town center like a shepherd watches his flock. Who sees to it that everybody I stays think that's a graphic it glitch. Oh, you yep. you. <laughs> but don't forget, you forgot to find me after that business with the bad bangers last month. Only on account of me soft heart. It's me only failing. But don't start getting <laughs> ideas. I'll let you off with a warning once, but just once. Of course, Constable. Now, you better start getting these crates. That's miles, kind of. <laughs> Locking a public thoroughfare. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's a wide. Got more crates. Good day, Mr. Paneer. I'll leave you to uh, think things out. Actually, Dibbins. Out way, you. Actually, Dibbins is quite good at golf. He's even learned a swing that launches the ball straight upwards. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's more of a slam, but you know, we'll learn that later. Closed. By order of the law, and all on account of a teeny tiny mouse. So oh, ridiculous, really. But you know, Constable Dibbins, he'll let a lot of things go, but he's a stickler when it comes to vermin. Yep. Apparently. Ah. Yeah, it's a well, good... he did arrest a robot mouse he once. Yeah, it's a good thing she was way over here to read that for us. Hey, let's visit our friend from the last episode. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, like, you know. Grammar would have to learn to talk or something. What's responsible for my incarceration, aren't you? No hard feelings, mate. Come here. I've got a little present for me. 
Yeah, yeah. I, got, I wouldn't get as far in my life as I have without if I if I took accepted gifts from guys in prison. <laughs> Ooh, I think I fucked that up. That. It's yeah. my last one, and it's reserved for Mr. Paneer. Hmm. Well, A we're putting gonna, magazine. We're gonna use the scissors and place Wallace's picture on there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Where are we getting the camera? Hey, don't cut up magazine. That's for Mr. Paneer. Uh -huh. Is that is that the dog? One of the dogs from the previous chapter on the newspaper. What is it? I didn't even see. It looked like it's. It might be. Let's see. Next, next to her. Yeah, there it is. is foul. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's Twitch. <laughs> I couldn't help you just only remember him. Twitch, I don't you? Him in the society section, the one about your master and Miss Flit. It's true then. Been keeping it a secret though, sly devils. No. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Miss Flit is, you know, not a good match. Ooh, let's talk to Mr. Pinono. Pay up, Gromit. Where do you come from? I, I learned really thought he said pay up. I said your master might be prickly thicket material. He's a right good bloke, your Wallace. Bloke? But, like the PC says, if he's a sportsman, I'm a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> don't suppose you could use a few crates of... So, that was, it wasn't even that funny, here? really. I yeah. ordered five tubs, but the daft taper that warehouse put me down for 500. How am I <laughs> supposed to shift 500 tubs of super sticky nut butter? Wait a minute. <laughs> Take this home to your master. Free sample. Yeah, I don't even know anybody with 500, 500 nuts like to butter. You can always use it to fill in cracks that was a really bad joke. Yeah, that. We could use what? we could use it to fill in cracks before decorating. Actually, we are gonna need that. Ah. We're gonna trap Mr. Nutter in it. Oh, I didn't even think Mr. Nutter was gonna be in this. Whoa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bugs are plenty. In this game, apparently. Let's see what this does. I guess it just picks up radiation. <laughs> A Geiger meter, yeah. Hey, buddy, you want some nutter butter? You think this nut butter tastes anything like nutter butter? Uh, is nutter butter an actual product that yes. exists in the real world? I've yes. never heard of it. It's a candy. Must be an American candy then. It's kind of see home sweet home. I don't know. It's you can't click. Yeah, it, it totally looks like fix this. Ah, that 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 warms the cuckles of my heart. Uh, oh, you can't go to the kitchen this time. Or the upstairs or the basement. Those sly designers. My name and is. And if they put the thumbs. No answers yet in the uh, flit case, Gromit. You may want to use some of my equipment. That's right. Put the thumb screws on her. Now, have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what more can I tell you? This object you've lost. Lost something? Who has? Oh, yes, I just remembered. Oh, you have. It's the thing that he's lost a camera something because... That oh, that's what you're cutting up. Okay. Go on. Are we going to use the nut butter as like, uh... Like glue. Important. I wonder if that'll work. Please? This is a matter of the utmost importance. I need it's this bread. I, come. I appreciate your faith in my skills, Major. Faith has nothing to do with it. Facts are what we need, man. It looked like you played the. Facts. <coughs> Sorry, it looked like you played the same animation. By the way, Major. Whoa. Uh, what do you think of me new painting? Why, it's very. By George, it's a masterpiece! For a start, could you tell what? me what the object is? Yes, of course! It's... it's... Oh, fiddlesticks, I've forgotten. Oh. Gone clean out of my mind. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the case. That's... But they are licensed and certified detectives. He will eventually say that. 
Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so Let's we see. got the picture. We need to get it on the, um, on the newspaper somehow. Well, the first thing we gotta, another thing we gotta do is trap that squirrel in this tub of nut butter. Why? <laughs> so we can return it to Mr. Paneer. Oh. Is that, how, is that how he's gonna get rid of all that nut butter? No, that's how we're gonna get him to turn against Constable Dibbins. Interesting. Okay. Hey, squirrel, but he didn't come say, out here. He didn't seem to want to come out of the tree, so... Hmm. I was thinking it was the bread, but it's not. Mm-hmm. Can I just hit him with a wrench? And this Wallace of yours... You're quite sure he's entirely unconnected to that horrible <laughs> quite sure We seem to be stuck on a bit of a... Wallace uh, could possibly be a member of Prickly Thicket. Yeah. Like, hey, guys, how many times is she going to ask her that? Huh. I don't know. Ooh, something to... Ah, oh, look at that. A feeding tray. Where'd you pull that nut out of? What? Don't you just have nuts on you? Okay, well, I guess we answered the question. Good. Oh, what? How? How? How did he even get in there? Or fit in there? I guess uh, physics be damned again. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it would be even more impressive if he didn't just clip through them. <laughs> through the... The nut, nut butter case. Hey, you want to see a picture of Wallace? Keep your master's picture on you, do you? You're a sentimental dog, you are. Aww. Talk I'm backwards, I do. <laughs> your master didn't want it. Like Yoda, I am. <laughs> Put it there with the others. I'll move it inside when I've cleared some space. Looks like uh, it's gonna be... That store is gonna sell nothing but nut butter for a while. Tell me, how many dishes can you make with nothing but nut butter? I don't know, I'm not a cook. Really? Alright, let's see what <sighs> this does. Can't really leave these crates in the street all day. Ah, my good friend Pania. Glad to see you're doing your civic duty. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wouldn't want to presume on our friendship. That's why I've always respected you, Mr. Paneer. Never want to take advantage of powerful friends. You know, when push comes to shove, the law must be obeyed. Powerful. Honor, duty, and golf. That's the prickly thicket motto. And a fine motto it is. A motto I could easily live by if, say, someone were to invite me to join the club. Say no more, Constable. I thought it over and... Thinking uh, You. <laughs> Crikey! What kind of trick is this? Trick? Uh, no trick. Just a little mix-up. Optical illusion. If you'll just turn the other way for a moment, I'll... Turn the other way? I am an officer of the law, Mr. Paneer. But our friendship... I'm sorry, Mr. Paneer, but vermin's vermin. And vermin trumps friendship every time. So, wow. That's how it's going to be, is it? Okay. Yeah. That's it. That seems incredibly unfair. We kind of ruined his <laughs> business. Oh, careful with that. It's my last one, and it's, it's reserved the... for Mr. Paneer. It's the telltale way. All right. So yeah. how are we going to get these two two things together? We could threaten her with scissors. Or show her this Ooh. picture of Wallace. <laughs> That's from today's idle chatter column, isn't it? Corker of a picture. Who is there to take the picture, I want to know? Yeah, we sure that, give good Wallace point. My felicitations, the sly devil. <laughs> felicitations, yep. I wonder if I could Felicitations, that's it. Hmm. You ever watch Felicity? Uh, no, I'm just wondering where... 
where, where that word comes from, felicitation. Uh, it's a combination of solicitations and felicity. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. The dogs moved in. I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, to Mr. What's his name? I wonder if we can go inside here. Or do we count as vermin too? Oh, or even more you, confusingly, does he consider us? <laughs> uh, what, what, what was it? Miss Flit calling? Uh... Hmm. Now in the second, livestock. the murder. Livestock. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, what the heck? <laughs> he doesn't consider us livestock, does he? I weren't really thinking straight when I said... I am from it. Where did you come from? It's not like you've been walking around the center of the town this whole time. <laughs> I'm prepared to give your master a very good price on nut butter if he buys in quantity. Uh-huh. Okay. If we, I wonder if we can, uh... Yeah. Kids? Kids love it. Okay, so we. I assume we have to do something with that newspaper. Ah! No, mother. Not icky cricket. Prickly thickets. <laughs> the country club. Your Ernest may soon be joining a country club. What do you think of that? Hmm. Reminds me of that cockroach from uh, Sam and Max. Cockroach? <laughs> oh, you get a bug to listen in on people. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was wondering about that. It's probably the only good, um, Bosco Tech invention there was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bosco was great. <laughs> I love that. I love when he turned Russian. That was, uh, that was really funny. I, I thought, at least, for some reason. I was, I was about to go into something else. Ah, Icky Cricket. That's the thing. Uh, I'm running out have you ever watched shop? Cricket? <laughs> what am I going to do with all this nut butter? Uh, Did you hit a table or something? Come, um, no, of course not. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, raise middle finger. Uh, what's Icky Cricket? Oh, that was nowhere near the bag. Yeah. I remember when... At, at some point, and I guess it's still, uh, I guess it's a free channel now, like when you, when they used to show BBC over here, mm. and you see the sports news, and you saw cricket matches, and it's like, <laughs> like one of these days I want to, I, I really just want to watch a, a cricket match, try to figure out exactly what the heck the, that game's all about. <laughs> the cricket, oh that, that game is really complex. We drove okay, exactly. past. We drove past some kids playing it once. Yeah. The game seems kind of not cool, but it's uh, apparently pretty competitive. Hey, it is. It is like you know all the old um, Have you got all, you need? all the old colonies, uh, British colonies are really into it. You may want to use some of my equipment. That's right. Put the thumb screws on her. Oh, yes, I just remembered. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, something that means a great deal to me. Any news on the flit front, lad? Oh, dear. Do something, Gromit. Um, Major Crumb? Hey, was that a telephone booth? Do you still have those in your native oh. land? I did not see a telephone booth. Well, then you're blind. And, and no, we... <laughs> it was that easy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is she sound, Eddie? Ooh, the constable's in a right grumpy mood today, isn't he? And I thought we were mates. mates. Almost invited him to join the country club I did. Oh, well, you've saved yourself a lot of regrets. <laughs> Here, this ought to soften the blow. Extreme pudding. I've been looking for extreme I didn't even notice the extreme part. <laughs> of natural rubber grips versus synthetic. Hello, what's this? Thinking Nora. Is that who I think it is? Wait a 
Well, I'll be. That's all. Wallace, that is. Rookie of How do they not notice that it's obviously cut out? <laughs> we played golf. Hey, look on the back. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, the advertisement from the second episode. Yes. What you thinking, Pat? Constable Dippins, uh, this is a pleasant surprise. Uh, what brings you to, uh... Yeah. Package for ya. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> He's pissed at us. <laughs> this is a battle. It's from Prickly Thicket. Well, I never. They're inviting me to become a member. And they've even enclosed the club's official tank top. Imagine that, lad. A country club. Ho oh, oh. uh, ho. We're going up in the world, eh, Gromit? Hey, new vest. Ah, looks good. Looks good on him. Miss a flit. Oh, this gets awkward. Wallace, you needn't be so formal. Not after yesterday. Call me Felicity. That happened oh, yesterday? Yes. <laughs> About yesterday. I thought I thought she I did leave you. Okay, I don't remember everything from the last part, but I'm pretty sure she said that she needed a week to think it over. She said she'll give you the answer but within a week. For you now. Oh, okay. You do. Oh, she really did. She really slept without on it. First consulting my great aunt Prudence, and you'll be delighted to know. Great aunt. She has okay. given us her blessing. Isn't that wonderful? Her only caveat, <laughs> and it's almost too ridiculous to mention, <laughs> is that she forbids us to marry if, <laughs> if you're a member of. <laughs> oh, that extra quality, though. Uh... We reject the sticky picket. Ancestors. And there's that history. Ooh, left hand on the uh, fireplace. In co conformance with prickly protocol. Devil if I care why it had to be Wallace, but what's done's done. Welcome to the club, Wallace. We await the opening whack. Quack. <laughs> Swing that club, you tube. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Dibbins. <laughs> Stop in the name of the law. I hereby announce that in violation of municipal bylaw number 486, as relating to sports and social clubs, you of, this club is to be closed forthwith. I will state, and I quote, Every registered golf and country club must be in possession of no fewer than one fully functioning golf course. Oh, yes. oh they don't have a course. <laughs> Pardon if I'm a bit uh, shaky on the upswing, but are you saying that uh, we don't actually have a golf course? Not at the moment, anyway. Had one once. Dashed fine one it was, too. But uh, the deed was lost. Somewhere. Within the walls of this club. So uh, little oh, I get, I, I get the feeling I know what our next objective is. It's a long and terrible story. It's history. And as of tomorrow morning, prickly thick it'll be history too. Enjoy okay. your last day at the club, gentlemen. Oh, God. Well, there's only one thing for it, I reckon. Like the booby bobby said, let's enjoy our last day at the club. Capital idea. Perhaps I can get a game of chess in before tipping. I still need to work on me cushion technique. <clears throat> uh, pardon me, but but PC Dibbins is going to shut Prickly Thicket Golf Club 
because it hasn't got a golf course. Hey, look, it's that machine. Oh, it's it's nice. cheek. And it hasn't got a golf course because the deed proving its existence is lost. Yeah, deed. Right, actually. Well, then, there's nothing for it but to find the deed. Easier said than done, bloody. Quickly, Thicketers have been searching for centuries. Impossible quest, Wallace. Impossibilities are our speciality at Golden Retrieval. <laughs> Alright. Now I remember. That's what I hired you fellows to find. The deed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, now he remembers. Uh, okay, is that is that a good... Would that be a good point to pause for the first episode? Yes, I was about to say that, just letting the cutscene play out. All right. Oh, good. Next time we're gonna go here, and then maybe we'll go back and consult a very distraught Felicity. What do you think? Sure, I think that would be the decent thing to do. Yep. All right. See you the next one. Bye bye.